Hi, this is future Camille with some commentary. My hands are here. I'm not the one doing the contest. After half a minute of loading the website, I opened the first problem. It was very easy, something with a triple satisfying an equation, so it's enough to just iterate with three for loops nested inside one another. And was very small and was up to 250, so you didn't need to speed it up in any way. Uh, so first problem, nothing interesting, just important not to mess it up and get plus 4 minutes time penalty for a wrong submission. Running the code. And without even waiting for the verdict, because I assumed it's correct, I moved to the second problem, nearest exit, exit from entrance and maze, where given a grid you need to find shortest path from one cell to any border cell and from now on I will mainly shut up while past Camille implements something uh, so see you when I start the third problem oh and the solution is of course BFS The third problem, some game. 
there are two players replacing question marks in a long number with just digits 0 through 9. One player wants to get the same sum of digits in the left half and in the right half of a number, and the other, other player wants to uh, make those sums not equal. And this was the first problem where I needed to think. First I scrolled down to constraints, I hope that maybe length of a string, length of a number, would be up to a few hundred, maybe a few thousand, then I would try dynamic programming, you know, keeping the sum of numbers on the left or, and right, or just the difference. Uh, here you see me actually drawing something on a piece of paper, where I thought that the number of question marks must be even, because otherwise the first player gets the last move, and this is the player wanting the two sums to be different, so for sure in the case of odd number of question marks, that player will make those two sums different. Uh, if there are question marks on both sides, I thought that the second player will most likely just kind of mimic the operation of the first player, uh, because yeah, I don't have a formal proof for that. But if the player wanting the sums not to be equal, if they want to maximize sum on one side, they will keep putting nines there, and then the, the player wanting sums to be equal uh, it cannot uh, get on the other side bigger than that, so they will mimic with 9, or if 0 then they will mimic with 0, so I just thought that question marks on two sides don't matter, they cancel out, and then you will be left with some number of question marks on one side, and the only reasonable thing for second player to do is to sum up to 9. First player puts 2, you put 7. First player puts 0, you put 9. No matter what that first player does, you will sum up to 9. So the two consecutive digits would sum up to 9. This is the only thing you can guarantee. You cannot achieve sum of two, di two digits, two question marks, to be 11. Because the first player put 0, you cannot put more than 9. So then I thought that, yeah, two question marks will sum up to 9. Uh, 20 question marks would sum up to 90. Uh, and once again, no formal proof for this. But I implemented it. I counted the difference of question marks on left and right, and I compared it with the difference of sums of digits on left and right. The number of question marks divided by 2 must be equal to 9 times the difference.
The last problem, minimum cost to reach destination in time, is just very easy and standard if you know dynamic programming well. If you want to learn dynamic programming, by the way, watch my YouTube lectures for that. Here we move through a graph and al always we are in some city, some time already passed and we paid fees. They told us to minimize the fees, so dimensions of dp were the current node and the time spent and we minimized fees. And that's it. Uh, on paper there I only wrote dp of node time and that's it, is implementation. After the contest I kept refreshing the leaderboard for a minute or two, waiting it to update my last, so fourth problem, and uh, waiting for that first place, you know, because I have 15 minutes and the second, uh, the next best person has 17 minutes, minus one second, I have 15.03. Actually they were faster, but they got an incorrect submission, so plus four minutes time penalty. I spent a lot of time on problem 2 and 4 
that could be done much faster. Uh, and that BFS I implemented for some time. I will here keep refreshing for a moment. What is here? Cinematic view. Uh, I will keep refreshing, but hopefully I won. This person, because of a wrong submission, uh, they have time of 17 minutes, I have 15. The third problem took me a lot of time. Yeah, first place. Nice. Nice. No, I didn't win. I lost by 40 seconds. This is the final leaderboard. Well, maybe next time. Anyway, thank you all for watching and see ya.